In the early 1900s, Rukon was founded as an industrial company town in the middle of southern Norway for the workers of what would become the Norse Hydro Company. Here, the company was responsible for building the town and surrounding infrastructure as one of the first pre-planned communities in the country. And although this is the perfect environment to set up a hydroelectric plant due to the rivers and waterfalls, the isolated mountain environment was not the best for people to stay in year-round. For Rukon was built in a deep valley whose steep slopes rose nearly 2,000 feet above the town. As a result, very little direct sunlight is able to reach the community from October until March of the next year, leading it to be largely left in shadow for much of the already cold, dark, and snowy winter months. In response to this, the residents of the town have begun to come up with new innovations and ideas to deal with living in the shade for almost half a year. They establish a new holiday known as the Sun Festival to celebrate the return of sunlight to the valley by dressing up in various solar-themed costumes and holding a parade. The Norse Hydro Company even built a series of cable cars so that the residents could more easily travel up and above the shadow line for some sunlight during the winter months. One man named Oscar Kittelson allegedly even proposed building a series of large mirrors on the side of the mountain to bring some sunlight back into the valley, instead of requiring people to travel to get some sun. However, this idea wasn't implemented at the time, as it was seen as being either too expensive or complicated to properly engineer the mirrors, so that they were able to reflect the correct angle of the sun back into the valley throughout the course of the day. Then, almost a hundred years later, an artist named Martin Anderson moved into the town in the early 2000s. After having his first child and missing the sun during the winter months, he wished to come up with a new system to bring some sunlight back into the valley. He revisited the idea of using mirrors and proposed building a system of modern heliostats to reflect the sun back into the valley. Now, while heliostats have existed for centuries, in recent years with the increased interest in solar power, and specifically the development of solar towers, improved mechanized solar mirrors were developed to better reflect and direct the sunlight. Proposing to use a similar system here, Anderson petitioned the town for several years before the funding was eventually raised and a series of three mirrors were built on the northern side of the valley. These mirrors are programmed so that over the course of the winter months, they can accurately reflect the sun back into the central square of the town, bringing at least a little spot of light back into the valley. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to have a say in any future content, please consider joining the Patreon. And I hope to see you next time.